Wow. Whew, that looks crazy. 1 over square root of x times 4th root of x plus 1 raised to 10th power. That's gigantic. 10th. And we wish to integrate this, this crazy expression. Whew, I guess this is what some MIT students do for fun, which is understandable. This, uh, this looks fun, but it, it's not very obvious where to start. Well, you're raising this entire expression to 10th power. So maybe this entire expression is what we want to let be u. So let's make, let's make substitution. u is equal to fourth root of x plus 1. Maybe that's going to help us out. But you want to relate this expression to square root of x. How can we do that? Well, fourth root of x is equal to u minus 1. And square root of x, square root of x is x to the 1 half. Fourth root of x is x to the 1 fourth. So you can square this. You can square this expression to go from x to the 1 fourth to x to the 1 half. So u minus 1 squared is x to the 1 half or square root of x. So we know what square root of x is. That's u minus 1 squared. This crazy expression is u minus, is, it's just u to the 10th power. And now we have to simplify dx. Hmm. Well, you have x to the 1 fourth is u minus 1. So x is equal to u minus 1 raised to fourth power. I'm just raising both sides of this equation to fourth power. 1 fourth and 4 cancel out, and you have u minus 1 to the fourth. So dx, differentiating, gets us 4 times u minus 1 cubed du. So let's let's put let's make all these substitutions. Let's let's replace dx with 4 times u minus 1 cubed du, replace square root of x with u minus 1 squared, and replace this crazy part with u to the tenth. And we see right away that things are going to cancel out, which is fantastic. You want things to cancel out in integration. So you have 4 du, and let me write it like this. You have 4, and you have u minus 1 cubed divided by u minus 1 squared, which is just u minus 1 up top, and you're dividing by u to the tenth. Let's get 4 out of the way. Let's get the constant outside the, the integral. And you have u minus 1 divided by u to the tenth, which is same thing as u over u to the tenth. I'm breaking this apart. Or 1 over u to the ninth minus 1 over u to the tenth du. And this thing we can integrate. That's 4 times the integral of u to the negative ninth power plus u to the negative tenth power du. And that gets us u to the negative 8 divided by negative 8 plus u to the negative 9 divided by negative 9. You want to add 1 to negative 9 to get negative 8, divide by the same thing, add 1 to negative 10 to get negative 9, divide by the same thing. And now we can, oh, that's not, that's not plus. You want that to be minus. I just realized that. So let's erase this plus and let's keep it minus the way it always was. So that's minus. And this thing is 4 times 1 over negative 8 u to the 8th plus 2 negatives, 1 over 9 u to the 9th. So simplifying it. And I guess you can combine the fractions just for the sake of it to get 79 u to the 9th. And you have negative 9u from this fraction. And from this fraction, you have plus 8. Okay, so we have everything sorted out, and we started with u equals to fourth root of x plus 1. Let me write that. u is equal to fourth root of x plus 1. So le now let's substitute this back in, because you want expression in terms of x, not u. So you have 4 times, actually, 4 divided by 72 gets us 18 down below. So let me just get rid of the 4. So you have negative 9 times u, 4 root of x plus 1, plus 8 over 18 times, times u to the 9th. 4 root of x plus 1 to the 9th, which is distributing negative 9 times 4 root of x minus 9 plus 8 
over 18 times 4 root of x plus 1 to the 9th, and minus 9 plus 8 is the same thing as minus 1. So let me change that to minus 1, and we are done. Negative 9 4 root of x minus 1 over 18 times 4 root of x plus 1 to the 9th. Let me write that. So our final answer, integral of 1 over square root of x times 4 root of x plus 1 to the 10th power is negative 9 times 4 root of x minus 1 all divided by 18 times 4 root of x plus 1 to the 9th power and you want to add constant of integration and we are done.